Thank you for joining me for my third week of learning how to ski with me, meteorologist Baird Vinson. I got Bart up on the magic carpet with me again, and uh, he's going to show me not only how to actually move with my skis, but I think if I'm going to learn how to move, I probably need to learn how to stop. Bart, you want to let me know how to do that? Yeah, stopping is super important, Barrett, uh -huh. because we're going fast and that's fun, but eventually you got to watch out for all the other people and, and things down below us. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you've heard of the pizza french fry? Indeed. Indeed. So just like we were doing down there on the concrete earlier, mm -hmm. we we're moving our feet in and out. We're yep. going to do that with our skis on. Okay. So let's make that shape with our feet again, just by sliding your feet apart. Okay. Keeping our toes in, and we make this little triangle that okay. kind of looks like a piece of pizza. That's where it gets the name That's pizza, where it gets I'm guessing. The name. All right. All right. And as you can see, we're digging in with our inside edges, and that's what's gonna give us the holding power to uh, stop our skis and stay on the snow. Okay, okay, sounds good. So let's practice that a couple times. All right. We'll go from French fries. Okay, this is, this is going fast. When our skis are like this, we go fast. All right. And open up again in a pizza. And you're kind of sliding out. You just slide it right out like this. All right. Yep, and the bigger the pizza, the more stopping power you have. Another name for the pizza is the snow plow. As you make the shape of the triangle with your inside edges digging into the snow, it creates friction to stop. This resembles a snow plow as your skis are literally plowing into and through the snow to help you control your speed and slow down. All right, Bart, now that I know how to stop and go, what's next for me? All right, thanks. You learned how to stop, which is good. Mm -hmm. Next week when you come back, we're going to learn how to steer our skis and okay. turn around things. All right. And once we learn that, we'll get to ride the chairlift up there to the top of the mountain. All right, sounds good. We'll stick around for next week because you don't want to miss me learning how to turn. And I'm excited to get on the chairlift for the first time.